Bueno, me han dado media hora para hablar. Been given half an hour to talk to you. No, seriously. Closing ceremonies has to be simple because I think all that had to be said has been said over the last two intense years. We've heard more than 40 speaking, and by the podcast, the streaming, we've been able to follow all of this all over the world. We've talked a little bit about everything. We've spoken more intensely as we did this morning and more relaxed than yesterday, but I think the important is the background of know-how that's been left here in this auditorium, especially from the standpoint that the challenges that the island is going to face in the coming years can be overcome. We can meet our objectives because we know that we have the technology, we have the people, we have entities such as the University of La Laguna where this is barely going to, not gonna, just going to be a challenge for the Island Council of Tenerife, it's going to be a challenge for the Tenerife society as a whole. And we're comprised of everyone belonging to this society, the public authorities, companies that are increasingly involved in sustainability academic centers that are also more involved in, increasingly involved in society, and also the man in the street is entering, is following the track of uh, sustainability too. Now we come to the acknowledgement. This conference has been possible due to a group of people. I hope I don't forget anybody, and if I do, I hope maybe somebody can remind me. First of all, no. The people who've been running the housekeeping, led by Kande Sarade. This morning I was telling, as a story, I don't know if this was just a, a story, or maybe she was sending me a, a, another kind of message, that she's been working about 14 hours a day. We were having a coffee, and it's the sort of thing that you say in a coffee break, but it's true that in order to organize a, an event of this kind, it takes a lot of time. And the team led by Candy Sarate has certainly spent a lot of hours on organizing it. Then there are people who broadcast what was going on here outside. The community managers run by Pedro and the communication team led by Santi, who've also done a lot of work in order to broadcast everything that was going on here to the rest of the world. I'd like to also thank all the auditorium staff who've ensured that nothing has, has been wanting. They've offered solutions before problems are arising, and that's worth a mention too. I'd also like to thank the technical committee comprised of Ivan Castellano, I'm not sure if he's here or whether he's already left, Carlos Pego from the public administrations, the local councils, from the universities, we have Noemi Padron and Jose Miguel Cáceres, I don't know if he's around, they've also worked hard, okay, yeah, fine. And from the Tenerife Island Council, two heads of service who know exactly what's going on in the sustainability department, Orlando and Alejandro Molovny, who picked up this gauntlet because they were the politicians in charge of this and they had the good idea and they came to those, hey, listen, we've just had an idea. Uh, when they, they told me the idea, this generated an enormous amount of work and they never say no. They never actually say no, so, which is great. So. This came up at dinner the other day. One morning in August, having a coffee with a friend about the need, looking at the challenges that we're facing in August on the island of Tenerife, the major challenges with regard to sustainability to bring all the interlocutors together for a conference. 
And next too is thanks to the Foundation Recicla. Carlotta made a magnificent presentation here. And these were the people who uh, who could scrupulously design this conference. And I'd like to finish with all our sponsors. We have a sample of them here, but the sponsors who, with their backing of this event, the coffee and everything, have made this event possible. In the end, you haven't all been charged for the coffee breaks, so it's been paid for by the sponsors. It's obviously, a major effort has been made by each and every one of these companies to back an event of this kind, which, as I said, was, is here to stay. We don't know yet whether it's going to be every two or every three years, but we believe that it's, there's a need to repeat forums and conferences of this kind because it's been made obvious that there is sufficient content to spend several days on it. But apart from the conference, around the island waste plan monitoring committee, we want to see if we can consider the presentations that haven't been given. Maybe we can organize a workshop for one morning that will give us a taste of what hasn't been able to be presented here in the conferences. There's so many speakers here. There's a lot of knowledge that's been made available to us for discussion, but we haven't had time for this. We've been, we haven't stopped in two straight days. We didn't have time for the discussion that we wanted, and we've sacrificed this, the debate that's need in order, in order to offer different points of view visions or views like the one we saw this morning, like such as incineration or yesterday, with two totally different and antagonistic standpoints that should be complementary. Here I'm talking about the integral management system, the where it should be heading, or a retorna systems, which should be complementary. The one should not exclude the other, or yesterday, the magnificent presentation made by Alexis Cecilia with regard to treating organic matter. And this required the know-how to be put on the table, and so we had to sacrifice something which was, but there will be discussion about this, I can assure you. Tomorrow, we have three buses to go down to the Arico Environmental Center. Welcome, that's fine, that's great. I think that shows why we're so proud of this um, environmental complex. The mayor of Arico is here. It's not just the environmental complex of Arico, it's the environmental complex of Tenerife. And I'm convinced that there'll be four, far more opportunities, first of all, for the municipality of Arico and later for the rest of the island to offset the sacrifice they've made over the last 33 years. So tomorrow you have this excursion down there for is about 150 people plus the drivers to the Arico environmental complex. And you'll see something that I'm sure that when we meet again in the next conference, we'll be able to make presentations or other people will be able to make presentations in the conference or at the conference using things that have been said in over the last two days and using Tenerife that have been developed in Tenerife and that has been rolled out in Tenerife. This is a long distance race, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So these projects go beyond what short-sighted politicians might see if they're just thinking in the between now and the next elections. These are lasting projects, and the lucky we have the luck that we have in the Tenerife Island councils is that we can design lasting projects that will have to be rolled out by different governments, and that's the best thing that we have, so we can finish what we start. So tackling 
a problem, transform an opportunity, the efficient management of waste requires that projects where the major milestones will not be attained in the, the midterm. We'll see things sometimes in the short term, but I would insist at the next conference, we, I hope we'll be able to give you examples of things that are being deployed on the island of Tenerife and stemmed from proposals that were put on this speaker stands in the course of the two days of this conference. So that just leaves it to me to thank all of you for taking part over the last two days, having shown an interest in listening to the speakers. I'd like to thank you for your willingness to take part, and I wish all of you, I hope that we'll meet in forums of this kind and with more discussion and exchange of opinions. And I'd like to repeat my thanks for everybody who's made this conference possible. And I would officially close it. Thank you very much.